Well, Joy and uh, Peter, it's been uh, glad you and your whole family have been coming to the nursing home outreach regularly and what you get from it, how it impacts. So, I believe my parents started going before we did um, and they really loved it. And my mom is a geriatric nurse, so it was right in her wheelhouse. Um, and I'm a nurse as well, and I felt that we love um, people and helping people and making people feel good. And it seemed that this is exactly what we love to do. So Peter and I decided to um, go together and bring our whole family, all five of us enjoy going on Mondays. And um, it's really been a wonderful experience for our family. We all look forward to it. We love seeing their faces when we walk in the door. They get so excited, mostly for the kids. Um, but they love it and everybody seems so happy. Worship and prayer and Bible stories and the um, residents there, they really seem to enjoy our company and, um, and we enjoy going. So. And if somebody was thinking about going, what would you tell them? Go. It's so fun. We enjoy it so much. We, we don't like when it's over. We want it to be longer than an hour. Um, They've gotten to know us, which is great, and if you come to, they'll get to know you, and it feels so good when you walk in the door and they recognize you. Well, uh, Louise, uh, I uh, love your heart and uh, for, for going, and uh, just tell us a little bit about it and how it has touched your heart and your life. Well, I've been going to the Vanden Project for about nine years now. We started um, going on Wednesday nights and feeding the kids, cooking meals for them, and that transpired into the GO program. Um, there's about eight ladies here in the church that go on a bi-weekly basis, um, a bi-monthly basis, to feed, love, mentor, tutor the kids and show God's love. They are a ministry that um, loves children, that goes into inner city to underprivileged children and mentors and gets them to the point where they can have a bright future and shows Jesus' love, introduces them to Jesus. We've seen a lot of kids that have grown up, gone into adulthood and become very successful. And uh, we still have relationships to this day with those kids. If somebody was thinking about where they could serve and uh, they were thinking about a band project, go ahead and tell them real quick on yeah. why. And, and... This is part of God's kingdom, that He wants us to reach the children. He wants us to serve in a capacity. We all have gifts and talents that God has given us. Just being able to use those gifts and talents and seeing children's lives change is more of a blessing that you're going to ever understand. Well, John and Sue, uh, I noticed a few months ago, about three or four months ago, uh, you had started going to the uh, Raise You Up Homeless Outreach. And uh, just tell us a little bit how God has touched your heart from going. Okay. We were approached by Linda and Victor and asked us if we would like to do that. And of course my first reaction was, no, I'm not doing that. That's totally out of my comfort zone. And so we said no, but they began to share with us what all was going on. And uh, they're not just feeding them, they're clothing them, they're helping them find work. They are uh, just so many things to do with these people. So we said, we'll go home and pray about it. And, uh, and then, we got, then God began to tell me, uh, don't judge. You are there to be authentic, authentic love for these people and you are to show them my love. So I went to John and I'm like, what are you thinking? And he said the same thing, God was touching him. So we went and um, I, won't, I won't lie, I was nervous because this was again out of my zone. And uh, we went with Linda and Victor and we began to meet these people. And it just changed our world. Yeah, I mean, I, I also was pretty lukewarm about the whole idea at first, but well, we'll do this. And I didn't get all the information that Sue did. Mm -hmm. but, um, when I got there, I was touched. I mean, I felt compassion for everyone there, and um, it really did touch me. If somebody was thinking about coming and they're a little nervous, why don't you go ahead and invite them to, to go give ahead and Give it a try. Yeah. You should, you should give it a try. You know, Jesus told us to go, go out in the world and, and touch these people. We're not supposed to be in this just safe environment. We're to, you know, get out of your comfort zone, and it's it's not scary. You're going to find these people are going to so be appreciative of you. It's going to change you. You just give it a try like we did. Well, Tom, you've been going to 
prison ministry now for almost a year. We started up a year ago. Share it for, for a moment of how it has impacted you and touched your heart. Well, if you can imagine walking in to a big room, men that are imprisoned, but full of Jesus and joy in their heart, that is amazing and it touches me every time that I go in there and experience uh, Tyrone. They're up there, all, all guys are moving. It's just amazing to feel the presence of God in that place. Tom, just for a moment, if someone's thinking about coming sometime or if they're wondering uh, how it would be if they came, challenge them or tell them uh, why and, and uh, how it affects and how it's, uh, why is it important that Greater Life Church is a part of prison ministry? When I think about the impact of every handshake and every hug that I receive by giving of my time one Sunday a month, uh, there's no better feeling. When I get to work on Monday and uh, staff meeting and colleagues are talking about all the great things that they've done at the brewery, etc., and I pipe in and say, I was at another anointed service at Kershaw Prison. Uh, people take notice and they see and understand the glory of that just because of the way that we live.